and welcome to Simeon Soapbox, episode number five. I'm Gavin Knecht. I'm Alex Holmes. And I'm Ryan Cabrillas. Let's get the show on the road. Ooga booga. Okay, good. So, uh, you two went to a work social yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't have made it. Um, We're just disappointed, Ryan, right, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, physically and mentally disappointed. Okay, well, it's not about me. Um, how did it go? It was actually pretty, mm-hmm. pretty fantastic, if I do say so myself. Yeah, it was good. Free beer. Yeah. I am always up for free beer. Yeah, out of the keg too, so that was actually quite pleasant. Keg? These coach things, one of the little wooden barrel, uh, isn't it? Yeah, is, it, is that still a keg? I don't know. Yeah, they are they are kegs, aren't they? Casks, I think the the correct English term is for them. Oh, I'm splitting hairs as always. Yeah, it's uh, it's nothing to to worry about. But um, uh, at the risk of going back into uh, the beer episode, the the beer from casks are quite often inconsistent, aren't they? If you have it fresh, mm-hmm, then it's good. Yeah. If you have the the last bits of the barrel, you get all the dregs and. <laughs> The little bits of wood that have fallen out of the barrel and it's flat, all the gas is gone. <laughs> but when work is paying for it, I don't mind. Yeah. Oh. Honestly, free beer. It honestly could have been anything. I don't I don't even know what beer it was, but I no. just kept refilling my glass. If it was empty, I even when it wasn't empty, I would just <laughs> walk over to the keg and be like, okay, time to top it off. Well, in case anybody doesn't know by now, we all work for the same learning center. Yeah. Um, we, we are three English teachers. <laughs> and... <coughs> Fairly often, our learning centre has work socials mm-hmm. or team bonding exercises or whatever you want to call them. Rarely sponsored by the actual company. Most of the time, it's just spontaneous. Yeah. But uh, yesterday was, yeah, uh, was quite interesting. <laughs> paid for as, well, last year, our centre did pretty well in our company. So yeah. we got like 500 or 1,000 euros or something and... Yeah, they decided on uh, having a bowling night, of mm-hmm. all things, to spend our... Uh, our hard-won money. Yeah, it was uh, quite interesting. Uh, let's go. Uh, yeah. I, know, I like the bowling, actually. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. I kept bragging about winning, and I actually did absolutely terribly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was... Uh, it was Me actually too. just really awful, yeah. Tim, beginner's look. Tim yeah. got... Uh, I think he got the highest score on our lane. Oh, <laughs> and it was his was first game ever. He'd never played bowling before. Who played won the uh, Who won the uh, the whole thing? And what, what did they win? They made it sound like there's um, something kick ass to be to be won. Yeah, what could you win? Uh, More free beer or what? <laughs> Another somebody, cake. I can't remember who now. Somebody won a voucher for Amazon, I think. Free okay. lessons at our school. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, somebody had a yes. It was a voucher I think it was, or something. I think it was Paulina because she actually did pretty well. Well, my be Paulina. Yeah, I have no idea. Honestly, no idea. But you guys have both worked for other companies before, I guess. Um, uh, have you been to other work socials, and how does it compare to? Well, this one actually had people who were my age, which was really refreshing. <laughs> what? Were you at the Christmas party? No, 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 no. I was in uh, the Philippines for Fair Christmas. Enough. Which was really, really hot compared to here. <laughs> do they have work socials in the Philippines? Do they? Oh, yeah. Actually, that's really funny. My dad, um, for their Christmas party in the Philippines, his his company sponsored a, a water park day, which mm-hmm. was super, super cool. I went to, I actually got to see the the water park before they set it up. And they were talking about where they were going to have it. Um, it was super nice. Uh, the water park was just insane nice. Uh, there was a lazy river that was wrapped around a, a water slide and a pool. And so many different water slides. I don't even remember the name of the, the park, but oh, I thought that was a really cool idea. Yeah, That would have been a nice one for here. In this weather, yeah. Yeah, well, maybe not this weather, but oh yeah, not yesterday's weather either. Gosh, no, but you know what I mean. It's been yeah. this is like the first week, I suppose, of summer, and yeah. for me, everyone else is like, yeah, it's great. For me, I'm sweating buckets. <laughs> maybe you'll, you'll acclimatize that, won't you? And then <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. 
you mentioned Christmas, the yeah. Christmas party. Yeah. They're very so we diff- they're a very different kind of work social and they sort of happen all over the world, certainly in the United States and in the UK and yeah. across Europe. Did you come to the Christmas social, Gavin? Um, no, I didn't. I When was the last time you came to a work social? <laughs> Uh, the last time I went to a work social was... was oh, it, uh, no, you missed the uh, last year's summer picnic, too. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> Have you ever been to a work social, Gavin? I've been to many work socials, just not... Uh, With our company? <laughs> um, I went to the last two, didn't I, except for... Oh, the one that, that Alex uh, came up with, yeah... Oh no, did you? Oh yeah, you did come to yeah, that. Yeah, I did come to that. But yeah. that wasn't work sponsored, but yes, it, I guess it was a work sh- social. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not including those. Well, That's our just boss us came going over. for a drink. Yeah, our boss came to that one though, and he kind yeah. of, he bought us a few rounds. Actually, he bought us, yeah, a few rounds. Yeah, and he did say uh, uh-huh. it was on the... Uh, on our school's uh, Yeah, it was budget, on the school. Bill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very nice of him. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if how, how true that was, if it was just him or if it was our company, but... But our, our work nice socials, yeah. our work socials are good because we have a good bunch of people who are uh-huh. fairly like-minded. Yeah, we get on really well. But that's not always yeah. the case. Is it? If you work for a big company, for example, and you go to a Christmas party, you always get some uh, shy person, and then they have a couple of drinks uh, because they they want to be a little bit more extroverted and a little bit more confident, and then. Yeah four beers later they're trying to shag the boss and, and they have to beat twat of themselves and oh, that, yeah. that happens in most Christmas parties doesn't it if you in large Christmas parties there's always somebody who or the reverse where the boss is trying to uh, yeah. Yeah. the employees that's also <laughs> yeah if you have a male boss and he has lots of uh, oh, even if it was little dolly boss. girls working for him <laughs> yeah <laughs> even female bosses yeah they could also be quite awkward <laughs> uh yeah just like last night oh man i i kid you not it happens not every time but i almost always feel like at some point if i have a female boss they always end up trying to you know be nice and be cool with the employees but like last night you one just kind of freeze yeah, up yeah i was i i mean i'm as nice as i am i i try to appease their i don't know attempts on but they aren't really those to be normal <laughs> at the learning center they aren't really those um hierarchical boundaries are they between um because especially with the freelancers we're not yeah. subordinate to anybody are we as freelancers yeah in a way now yeah so I, I suppose I'm it's easier for us to uh, certainly for me to speak to the management as if yeah you know they just uh, as if they were peers of mine okay that's um, one way of looking at it do, actually yeah. do you uh, do you either of you feel any different well not with any particular ones maybe our director yeah because she's just really awkward oh man she tried dancing on me oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you mean lap not, dance. not like that just i mean the song came on that i hope you got your wallet well. out mm-hmm. Oh God, no! <laughs> let's but, hope she doesn't listen to this. Yeah, let's hope. Now we'd be rich and famous by then, anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, it'll be long gone. Yeah, but yeah, by the time this song came on, she started dancing next to me and then leaning into me, and uh, I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if the dancing was all right. But it was just incredibly awkward, you know, shoulder bobs mm-hmm. with some with some fists, like just right at, at chest level and kind of like the elbows out, kind of like a like a like a bow, like a bow. And the body was the arrow <laughs> just like this. It was so strange. Um, and what do you even do in those situations? You smile and move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Find something else to do. Go grab your bowling ball and throw it at the pins, even if it's not your turn. Better dancing than I could do. I'm not a good dancer. <laughs> I'm but not ashamed of that. Why do you think we have these work socials in Western culture? Um, are they really team building or team bonding exercises? Or is it a way for the company to thank the employees? I think it's a little bit of both. I like it. I think the team does bond. You do feel closer to your team because you got, you get a chance not to be work, work, work. Yeah. And like is it such a... Is it such a crime to 
talk shop out of hours, as we say in the UK. I'm sure the Americans have a similar expression, all the same. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. Talk shop, I just, I guess, yeah, you can say talk shop or shoot the shit, maybe. Because you, you always get that, like, um, not not with us, but in most companies, you always get this, like, uh, what we call an arse licker. <laughs> who, always, who always crawls up the boss's arse. And even Who's that in our company? Uh, I can't think of anyone. Especially well, all right. Yeah, I think we actually quite are quite lucky, and we haven't got one. Well, that's a good thing about freelancing, isn't it? You don't need to crawl up anybody's ass. Do yeah, you? you're just doing your own thing, and yeah, there's nothing in particular that. But going back to your question, Gavin, yeah, it's if you talk shop and you go on this work social, everyone's going to try and relax and have a good time. I don't think they yeah. want to talk shop. Yeah, but yeah. sometimes uh, em- employers use this as an opportunity to. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, um, they use it as an opportunity to either give their employees some bad news or, you know, to generally get a feel of what's going on on the, on the work floor, as they say. Well, there was no bad news, fortunately. Yeah. I don't think I actively tried to avoid talking about work. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I think we should. Yeah, exactly. Like the moment I step out, I try to avoid it. But you've, have you ever had that feeling when management have sort of uh, tried to infiltrate Not with us. the activities <laughs> of their employees by organising the work social, getting in there, the boss is showing that he's one of the boys or one of the girls, and, oh, she's one of the girls. <laughs> and, uh, the boss is showing that he's one of the girls. <laughs> okay, the, 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 the boss... <laughs> I know what you meant. The boss is showing that he or she is uh, one of the team. Mm-hmm. And they they try to get the employees to open up a little bit about what's going on, on on the shop floor at that level. Do you think? I think some companies, yes, but ours, not not at all. <laughs> I think the moment our employers step out of the office, they kind of just become normal people. They're in the same boat as us. Yeah, they, I don't think they want to talk about work as much as we don't want to talk about work. <laughs> once mm-hmm. we're out of once we're out of the center, because yeah, I suppose because they also. Uh, subordinate to uh, another level of hierarchy, aren't they? Oh, so yeah. our, our centre yeah. is just one um, one centre within a larger organisation. Mm-hmm. Wonder how many steps that we've got. We must have a regional manager, then a manager for Germany, and then a manager for Europe, and so on and so forth, all the way up to Benes. Our there's a parent company. Yeah, yeah. Couple, all the way up to Benes. Could you imagine being a member of the head office team? Could you imagine how their work socials would be different? Would they be different, do you think? Oh, yeah, totally. Where even is our head office? Uh, it's in it's in the United States somewhere, isn't it, I think? Sure. Still? I have no idea. Not a clue. Not yeah. a clue. But, uh, but that's a good point, because uh, in different countries, work socials are very different, aren't they? Yeah. Um, speaking about the Philippines yeah Philippines I don't know it's a little more it's a lot more relaxed than here Um, I mean typically just in general they're much more relaxed than people who lived here people who live here Um, but in America the work socials are maybe a bit more uh, formal I guess people aren't as relaxed, at least in my experience, are not as relaxed as how I work here with, with you guys and with no. our employers. I mean, also the whole open beer laws thing. Oh, I love oh, yeah. that. We can walk yeah. down the street with the beer in our hand. That's great. Exactly. But, but yeah. That was good when we went out with um, Randy and Sherry and we played darts. That mm-hmm. was, for me... That's that's what a work social should be. Yeah, just relaxed. Mm-hmm. Relaxed. And oh, I bed. think we were all very drunk by the end of the night, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we yeah. weren't even out that late, were we? I think my wife picked me up at half past 11 or something. Okay. I met you guys at... When did I meet you guys? About 7 o'clock or something, yeah. was it? Yeah. Yeah. How bad is it to be really, really drunk on a work social? Well, that's another point, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, this is a problem with Christmas parties, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. I feel um, people think that it's okay to get plastered at Christmas, so they don't get drunk by accident. They <laughs> they willfully drink as fast and as much as they can. Oh, that was me. 
night. Ah, last night. <laughs> well, um, you say that, but it seems to be more so at Christmas that, that people do that, and it seems to be encouraged as well. Yeah? yeah. Well, yeah. the bars encourage it, but when the beer is free, at our Christmas social last night, at least last night some of the beer was free. When it's free, yeah, go for it. Yeah, as much as you can, as fast as you can, before that moment where they stop and realize, oh man, how much beer have we actually just given away for free? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose it's always nice to take advantage, mm -hmm. but not to your own detriment, I don't think. That's true. I mean, if you're going to be ill the next day. <laughs> if someone said to me, here's three bottles of whiskey, they're free, but you have to drink them now. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Whiskey? Yeah. Yeah. That stuff just liquid fire. No. Yeah. Yeah, but just, imagine how quickly you could... I think could one would those. just... But, like, downing one would destroy you. Three, I, I, that just... You don't have to neck it all in one, but I mean, you have to drink it sort of uh, throughout the night. Oof, even even so. Mm -hmm. One bottle, man, that's... So rather than be there being... It's mental. Um, a limit on the quantity there's a limit on the time so you can drink as much as you want but only within a certain time oh man and that just encourages you yeah exactly um i remember there was one club right here in hoimak that for two hours you were allowed to drink for free so for four euros you get in and from 10 to 12 you drink as much as you can four euros for free. yeah i think and then you get do it yeah, it was a terrible business strategy, but <laughs> yeah, we took full advantage of it um, for the few months that at least I went to it. Is it still even open? Uh, no, not anymore. Well, Probably yeah, for obvious yeah, reasons. But, um, <laughs> some of these places are successful. If you go on a, a lads holiday on Ibiza or Mallorca or in Spain, you get all of these bars where what they call flat rate drinking. Flat you rate pay, and they're quite cheap as well. I mean, for 10 euros, you can drink all night for free. Okay. But it's just like the quality of the alcohol cannot be that good. And it's probably what the distributors have left over this really close to date. And it costs them more to dispose of it than oh. than, than to give it away. That would make sense. They so, should use that for our, our uh, next uh, office party. They should take us to <laughs> yeah, Exactly. And well, get us some of that, lef that leftover flat rate. Alcohol. But Wellspoons do that, don't they? They sell the, everything that they sell is close to date. Is it? Yeah, except for the spirits. I wasn't aware of that. That's why it's much cheaper. It's not bad. There's nothing wrong with it. No. It's not out of date. No. It's just close to date. And they know if they sell it at a certain price, they can sell it quickly. Hmm. I never notice any lack of quality in the beer, at least. And it's it really, good to me. And it's really expensive to throw away. That's the problem. It costs more to throw it away than... Sell than it for does. cheap. Yeah. Exactly, so they could at least make something on it. But I uh, take this off on a tangent. We're going down beer again. Now. Yeah, but it, it is a big part of the work social, isn't it? Alcohol. Mm -hmm. But I'm, could you imagine a work social working in a country like Saudi Arabia, for example? Oh man, that'd be so sad. <laughs> but if it was Saudi Arabia, the party would be insane cool, though, because they got that, that oil money. <laughs> so it would have no but alcohol. We don't work but in oil, Ryan. We yeah. work in education. Exactly. But I mean, all the people who probably work there get paid yeah, but pretty handsomely. What's the point in having all that money if you can't have a beer? Well, if the parties kick ass and you got sexy ladies dancing around and... In, in burgers and stuff. Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't even think about that. Burgers and sausages and beer. It's like, oh, I would miss it. Yeah. I couldn't go to Saudi Arabia, I don't think. No, it's a little bit too... Anywhere the alcohol's banned or not popular. And cheap pork products. Wait, yeah. mm -hmm. if they were like crazy rich though, I mean, maybe the crazy rich people have, you know, them take off those burgers and dance around all sex alike. Okay. Um, if there's anybody... <laughs> something on your mind, Ryan. <laughs> if there's anybody from a predominantly Muslim country listening, um, please tell us. We, we are a little bit ignorant because we... We generally don't go to Islamic countries. What are your work socials like? Do you have work socials? I hope and so. How do, and how do they differ? Mm-hmm. Okay. For us, it's just lots of drinking. Yeah. Maybe how a little many countries have we all lived in? Have we only lived in Germany and our home countries? Um, Typically, yeah. I've visited many countries, but yeah, I've never lived outside of... Um, I've sort of stayed in countries for longer periods of time. So um, I was in... Be rich in France for 
nine weeks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, Spain for 12 weeks. Uh-huh. Um, of course, Hanover um, a, a lot longer, but it's Germany, isn't it? Um, that's it. <laughs> oh no, Coventry for six weeks when I was 16. I did a, yeah. a course in audio recording when I was, uh-huh. when I left school. Uh-huh. So yeah, six weeks there as well. It's England, so it is another country, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. As far as you're concerned. Okay. Close um, enough, it's one country, come on. But going back to work socials, uh, Alex, what's your idea of, maybe not the perfect, but an ideal work social? Something like the Christmas party we had. You just went to a restaurant and the beer was free, the food was free. Just help yourself. I like that. And what about uh, summer parties, Ryan? Do you think a barbecue would work? Oh, that'd be amazing. Barbecue at Octavia. I mean, last year we had something like that. We didn't... Oh, yeah, we did have a barbecue. Awesome. Um, Picnic. And that was... Yeah, that was really nice. Uh, what is it? We had maybe five or six racks. No, probably... How big is this barbecue? racks of beer. It was crazy. And it wasn't just beer. There was Rattlers and... Um, different flavors of Rattlers too, you know, maybe lemonade and some You had racks different... of beer? What, rack? Yeah. I had... 30, like, I mean, what is it? 30 in, in per rack? 30... In a crate? crate? In a crate, sorry. Ah! R- Rattler is, um, is a German word for Shandy. Yeah. Ah! Uh, Shandy is... Uh, so yeah, crates. It's part, part, part of that Shandy. Radler is shandy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, they also use the word Alster, but Alster could be Fanta and beer. Oh, oh that yeah, sounds horrible. Oh, it's quite nice. It's, nice. it's no? really, yeah. it's really refreshing. Honestly, in a sum- on a you summer day, it. yeah, you have to. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. At the summer one, we had maybe eight crates of beer crates <laughs> racks I'm sorry I'm racks very is, confused racks is uh, American you get um, these big boxes with 30 cans of beer in them that would be a rack we call them um, slabs okay. yeah like, like I had this idea of so shop shelves in <laughs> the park you just like <laughs> shelves where, where did you mount the shelves where did so, you did you build a wall divided by a common language <laughs> yeah divided by a common language so these crates of beer were really full, you know, and we burned through all of them before the end of the night. Mm-hmm. And yeah, a barbecue during the during the summer it was it was amazing. It was also um, our former director's last day, so it was sort of her going away party as well. Yeah, I missed that. I was in the UK. Oh, bummer. Yeah, we I missed it as well. Yes. I did like our old director. Yeah, I only met her like a couple of times, but yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. No, she was she was really good. But we've got a, a more pragmatic uh, director now. Mm-hmm. But she gets more done, I think. I don't know. So, I'm not uh, really monitoring her work. <laughs> yeah, I don't ask her for much, so I just... No, at the, end of, at the end of the day, the centre yeah. runs and keeps us in work, doesn't it? Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. I asked our former director quite often for questions and, and for help, for answers. It was, it was, uh, she was a lot more approachable. But we are clear these days yeah. to approach. And she's exactly. really approachable. So. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I feel it's a bit easier if you. After this thing we had last night, I feel a bit. It's not so awkward. Maybe for me, for you, <laughs> maybe you feel awkward, Ryan. But yeah, yeah. So work socials, they do help. They they I think they, they do. do have some meaning. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, was, I mean, more than anything, it's just cool to hang out with you guys and other colleagues. Mm-hmm. Um, even some of our bosses, just the one awkward one. There's always that one awkward one, you know. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not me. Exactly. <laughs> but I'm I'm really uh, well, I feel really fortunate that with the work uh, with the center that we work for, mm. we don't really have any clicks there, do we? We mm-hmm. all sort of um, we're all sort yeah. of friends or loose friends. Yeah. But when you go when you go and work for a company and you see you always have these groups of three or four people that form clicks, mm-hmm. and then on a work social they stay within their clicks, don't they? They don't really mix with the others in the in the group and we don't really have that do we yeah i'm really glad we don't yeah it's funny because you see um even there's times when wolfgang i mean being one of our shyest one of our shyest uh colleagues he was even getting out of his shell and Mm -hmm. he even uh fist bumped me it was hilarious (laughs) he he had had a bunch of pins and then he walked over he's like yeah i threw his fist up and I was like, oh my God, this is actually happening. <laughs> actually happening. Yeah, he's uh, quite 
a bit older than us. <laughs> so to see <coughs> to see him uh, fist bump buffs, that was uh, really uh, really pleasant. <laughs> Different. It's not yeah. People coming out of their shell. Exactly. Yeah, that's what it encourages. That's why they were a good thing. Yeah. We're just so ah words. We just get so into the working routine. It's nice to see someone not doing paperwork or <laughs> not teaching or something. How do you think that... Because there are some people who feel that they do the job, they go home, they don't think about work, they don't want to socialise. How is it for them? Uh, do you think mm-hmm. they feel ostracised when they they don't go to work socials? If they don't go to work socials, they're to blame, aren't they? Yeah. So definitely. we're saying this, the German teachers, weren't the German teachers there last night? Oh, yeah. That was... That was that, 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 yeah, that is true. And that's kind of sad. Like, Yeah, none of our German teachers came out last night. Do you think they feel a little bit um, like the English teachers have the dominion in, in this, the learning centre? No, I don't think so. But hey, I'm not a German teacher. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, because we really had no German teachers out last night. And you could even see it in our teacher's room how kind of sometimes it feels pretty divided the moment um, German teachers and English teachers are in the same teacher's lounge. Yeah, it's a p- completely kind of, parallel operation, isn't it? Yeah, they kind of... That's where the clicks are. I mean, we I talk... I don't feel we, there's a click. Not a click so much, but I mean, you know who already starts to... Because they already start to speak to each other. Um, English teachers with English teachers, German teachers with German teachers. But I mean, obviously, some of us do interact with each other. I mean, I try to speak I with the German teachers. I, awkward? I think a lot of yeah. it's a language barrier as well when there yeah. is some awkwardness. Yeah. Uh, some of the German teachers may think that uh, none of us can speak any German. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we speak to uh, Elia and Natalia, don't we, quite often? Yeah, yeah. Um, and Natalia's probably, I, I don't mean it in a horrible way, she's probably the worst at English, but even she can come and speak to us in English. Yeah, and she tries, and she actively tries. Yeah, it's good practice and it's really for awesome. She's learning. Actually, I think that's something I, I really admire in her. She just always tries to speak to me in English and I just think oh man you're like way more I don't know way braver than I am <laughs> yeah but she's she's really, she's really confident but I think be- also and it sounds terrible because she's incredibly beautiful as well isn't she um, <laughs> and I think beautiful uh, aesthetically pleasing people can be more confident can't they they can uh, they can afford to be more confident I think ah, I see where your mind is at now no Gavin. but you're but <laughs> you're a good looking fella as well Ryan so you should be oozing confidence oh I am <laughs> At the moment, yes. <laughs> no, I think, but I think that's an American thing. Americans are are a little bit reserved and and worried about uh, making tits of themselves, aren't they? <laughs> Definitely, especially, yeah. especially with the language. Um, in most cases, you always or you sometimes see the one guy who tries to order at a Mexican restaurant in Spanish for the table, and whenever it's that person, I've I mean I've had friends who try that, and I don't know whether that's uh, something to be admired or you're coming off as a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Depends how bad your Spanish is. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But these are always the people who, uh, like for me, this um, this also sounds uh, really, mm, what's the word? Prejudice, I suppose. <laughs> there, for me, there are two types of Americans. Uh, those clever Americans who travel and those dumb fucks who stay at home. <laughs> and I think that's for any country, right? And it's very, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but in America it's really pronounced. I mean, yeah. there's very little in between, is there? Um, yeah. I mean, there's a lot in between, actually. The, the the people who are clever and travel abroad and then those who stay at home are like, I never need to go anywhere. <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah um, they got a point, you know, if they, if they want to stay at home and uh, they're comfortable in their lives, why not? But, yeah. Um, I definitely found those people that I, the Americans that I've met in Europe are a lot cleverer than the Americans that I've met in America uh, on the whole. Yeah, in in most cases. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think um, the, what's the word I'm looking for? I the earnings bracket, does that make a difference with work socials? I mean, in, because in some, com- for example, if you worked for a supermarket chain mm-hmm. and they had a work social, would they be very different to the, our yeah, company? Yeah, I don't oh. know. I don't know if it's How a super mean? if it's if it's a supermarket chain, I would think most ugh, man this may sound awful, but like just because of what they do, they wouldn't 
care what happens at the work social because you know it's a supermarket job so for them to go to a um, work social with their co-workers i mean unless they took the job super seriously you know they were maybe assistant manager or a manager but aside from that the employees i would think they wouldn't give a fuck <laughs> would it be much different to um a corporate event for example oh i don't i wouldn't want to do a corporate event or something oh yeah that'd be scary because then you have your bosses and your boss's boss at the same thing and um even if there's free alcohol you always have to keep in check because any i mean you might not feel like there's a hierarchy but i feel something at our place at our center it's it's, yeah. like, it's artificial though isn't it i think yeah you think yeah well specifically with our director i or it's a controlled at least i think yeah maybe it's the fact that she's not approachable is why it's difficult for me to kind of do what i do with you guys or any of our other colleagues even claire i'm pretty relaxed and randy um super relaxed with but then like the moment katrin comes i can't i really hope she's not listening to this yeah. <laughs> well no I, um but i'll have to say in her defense and i'm not ass licking honestly <laughs> i think Aren't you? i think she's not approachable because nobody's approached her I think she, that's that's just the 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 un- going into the unknown, isn't it? Um, I mean, I've I've had to ask her questions before. I've gone into her office, and yeah. she's been fine. Yeah, um, it's just that she doesn't laugh and smile a lot. Uh, but but that's so, why she'd come to work socials because she does laugh and smile at work socials exactly. when she's at work. Exactly, business, business, business. Yeah, this is one thing. J- jumping back to the German teachers, I wonder if it's a cultural thing because they do seem to want to have this real separation of work and social they don't want to mix it's the whole thing with mixing business and pleasure isn't it yeah i don't think they i wonder if the german teachers meet each other outside of the school oh that'd be really some of them do if they uh, if they become friends yeah i imagine that they do Mm -hmm. it's really hard to become friends with germans i find (laughs) (laughs) they are so closed off i mean once you're their friend you're their best friend for life but getting to that point is a lot harder yeah i've been all right (laughs) i've done all right (laughs) well i know i'm not going to mention any names but i know people who who work for for the government or government institutions and those kinds of work socials the team building exercises okay this they really sound forced it's forced fun was there beer at these things <laughs> there, is there beer um yeah they do have beer and stuff at are these beer? at these events but beer? it's sort of like come on we're gonna play some games come on join in you've got to do this and you're sort of forced to do i suppose uh, bowl is not really much different because you you are being forced to play a game but you went forced I mean, to play a game yeah no one was forced i mean if you wanted to play then they would add well i I guess everyone mm-hmm. had to join a team. Like the moment you got in, they're like, "What team do you want to be on?" And oh yeah, that, <laughs> oh, that was really weird. Because when we started making teams, I was like, "Oh my god, we have to make teams." <laughs> that was the first thing that came oh, to mind. We, <laughs> Why do we have to make teams? Like, we hired out the four lanes, and we had to split people up in it. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. But yeah, I just thought, oh man, with team, the moment you make teams, it's like this could turn out really bad. Because then whoever you're teamed up with from work could make things strange mm. I thought well I didn't make a test of myself so I'm not so worried but okay <laughs> yeah is it acceptable to do that in at work socials though because I know so, <laughs> some people they I've been to work socials and I I've seen people who've made tits of themselves I, I've done it myself as well and then you have some people like ah it was funny don't worry about it it was a laugh yeah you well, made yeah, us all laugh is. yeah but then you you get some people who are like you're gonna have to pay for this. You've done something really bad. You made an ass out of yourself. You take, made an ass out of me. They oh. take it really personally. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, did I make a tit of myself last night? Well, if you did, you did it at the wine market. Oh, oh probably. can you imagine? Yeah. Oh. Probably. <laughs> I did make a tit of myself that night. Yeah. Well, just not in front of me. It was yeah. We were just being... split off from us. I don't know, like halfway into the night. Yeah, my might have been around eight where we we left and we went to a wine festival and. Yeah, we were those Americans, mostly because all of us were Americans, minus You were one those colleagues. Americans. Yeah, we were yeah. those Americans you, you at know, the wine you, festival. You, you know, there's I a, know them. There's, there's a term, those yeah. Americans. Exactly. Because yeah. when we got to the wine festival, it was, you know, all of the colleagues that were from America were with us. And, uh, I mean, one colleague's boyfriend who's German. But we were those Americans being loud and obnoxious to the mm-hmm, point where mm-hmm. one of the German guests... Um, asked us to quiet down. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but it's that, a wine but, festival, what do you think? Yeah, right yeah exactly. That, I, I would have turned around and said, go somewhere else. 
You go somewhere else. You're free to move somewhere else. Ryan, right. yeah. that beer at Wine Festival. Are oh, that beer? beer. <laughs> I'm gonna run with this. I'm gonna run with this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was yeah, right in the middle of Hoymark. So, I mean, if someone wanted to grab um, a beer at a kiosk or anything, they could have picked it up, brought it over. I mean, I. We should have done that. We should have gone to the wine festival and just got drunk. Exactly. I got, uh, what is it, uh, Currywurst and ate it at the tables with my wine. I felt really classy. Yeah. <laughs> well, Real classy. Really? Currywurst and wine doesn't, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was awful. The moment, it's, I think halfway in, I just fusion. thought this was just a terrible idea. I should have gotten something that goes well with this wine. But it, it, you know, it didn't stop me. <laughs> it yeah. was just halfway I realized it. <laughs> You know, I think we should finish early and then go to this fine walker. Yeah. <laughs> if we finish at two o'clock. Oh, dude, we should. Cool. Grab uh, a bottle. Oh, I'm totally down. Uh, no, <laughs> I mean, not the, early, but like... Let's get this move done. May, so we'll <laughs> see. We'll see. I think it's about time we wrap up anyway, isn't it? Um, yeah. Is there... Do, do you two have anything further to add? No. Uh, just try not to make a tit of yourself at, yeah. at the... Uh, the word social. Okay, well, that guy. question for <laughs> yeah. our audience. What makes a good work social? Yeah, please let us know. Um, please like, share, and especially comment. Mm -hmm. And don't forget that subscribe button. Definitely. Yes, hit the subscri subscribe button. Okay, <laughs> so um, I guess we wrap it up now, as Alex said. So thank you for letting us waste your time. Bye. Bye. Bye.